In order to factor this problem completely, we'll first take out the greatest common factor. Looking at these two numbers, we can see they're both even, so they have a greatest common factor of 2. Dividing out the 2 leaves x to the fourth minus 16. Now we can see with two terms, and it's a difference, they happen to both be perfect squares. So we can factor this into the difference of two squares, where a is the square root of the first term, which would be x squared, and b is the square root of the second term, which would be 4. So what we want is the sum of those square roots times the difference, so the sum and difference of the square roots. Our first factor is 2. x squared plus 4 is the sum of squares, and we don't have a rule for that, so that cannot be factored any further. However, x squared minus 4 is again the difference of squares, where the square root of the first term is now x, and the square root of the second term is now 2, so we can break it down again into the sum and difference of the square roots, which would be this time x plus 2 times x minus 2. And now none of these four factors can be broken down any further, so that the four factors together would be the completely factored form of 2x to the fourth minus 32.